All right, we're live. We're, we're live. live. Uh, uh, welcome, welcome back, back to, to the channel. channel. Two Ski Geeks. Or, or Two Tuskegee Geeks. Geeks. That's, That's where, where we met. At, at Tuskegee, Tuskegee University while we're, we're pledging, pledging together. together. Uh, uh, tonight, uh, we're, we're going, going to uh, start off with uh, a few books, books that were uh, missed on, on the last video. video. We'll, we'll start, start off with those. those. We'll, we'll also have a mail call and then a CTC unboxing. Okay, okay, and then, then we'll, we'll, we'll close out with a special portion of the show. show. All right. Okay, okay so, so here we go. go. Let's, Let's do, do this, this, Johnny. All right, I'll start <laughs> off with uh, on our number three, on our video, three, on our video on number three. three. I missed some, some, some books from, from the unboxing, unboxing so, so we'll, we'll, we'll start, start there. there. Right. And, and, and welcome, welcome to the channel, Beardy. I know I've said that probably said that too many times. Oh, you're all right. We'll get it. It's all right. Oh, well, everyone is welcome. Okay, we'll start off with this book. book. Uh, the grade, grade, not, not as high as I would want it, but this, this is a book that is probably a little bit hard to find. Uh, I see why it got, got the grade that it did, but it has, uh, this is a Mount Morales, Morales Spider-Man, Spider number eight, uh, September of 2019. Uh, probably paid $3, about $3.40 for it. Uh, since it's a CTC, customized label, customized Miles label. But this, this is Mount Morales Spider-Man, number uh, eight. Love that book. Love it. 9.4. Uh, 9.4 due to... You probably can't see it. Uh, and apologize for the glare. We'll, we'll fix that later on. But 9.4 due to a dent somewhere along the spine there. All right. Happy to have that in the PC. Nice. Very nice. Whoa. Uh-oh, have a little technical difficulties there. Heavy book. Uh, <laughs> Called a little book, caused a little book quake. Yes. I'm going to have to work, work on, on that. that. All, All right, right, next, next, uh, next, 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 next book. book. Let me do, let me let me do, do this. this. Uh, you think, think I want to learn, learn uh, the first time. time? All right, now, next book. book. Uh, uh, Joyce, Joyce Chen Variant, Variant for Forbidden Number, number One, one July mm. of 2018, Variant cover. Uh, Donnie Cake Story, story uh, Ryan Stegman, and J.P. Mayer Art. And again, uh, uh, Joyce Chen Variant, Variant cover for Forbidden Number, number One. one. Uh, uh, if, if you have, have the Venom that says issue number 166, it's the same book as Venom number 166, it is the Variant. Legacy number 166, Joyce Chen Variant, 9.8. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, that covers that covers nice. That covers really, really nice. Yeah, I can't tell if that's machine draw or computer drawn or what, but it's still a be it's a beautiful cover or hand drawn. Yeah, I think it's a it looks it's like, like a, a combination, combination of the venom baby drawn and a post on the front. front. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the fire in the back, back may be uh, some, some sort, sort of a software. software. Yeah. And as they do today. Back in the day, they used to uh, put it and in the time. Not, yeah. not, not that, that they don't put it in the time today, today but, but back, back in the day, day everything, everything was hand drawn. Painstakingly. 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 They even used to, uh, from my understanding, understanding with, with the three dot, dot color, color, they used to cut out, out color, color sheets to put the colors down, down lay the color down, down on the pages. pages. Yep. Man, that had to be intense. Okay, okay next, next book coming up. up. Uh, this is a very nice book. Something, Something is Killing, killing Children, children number 15, uh, February of 2021. Uh, James Tynion, uh, The Fourth Story. And once again, Dale and Art, David Sanchez cover. Uh, uh, this, this is, is a past time, time comics uh, exclusive uh, for Something is Killing Children number 15, 15 9.8. Man, yeah. I had to have that one too. Mine is not graded, but I surely got one. I said, man, that book, that that cover with that mask. Foo just like from the last video when it was just uh the mask and eyes. Right. And I believe I have another, another copy of this raw. raw. Gotta, Gotta have, have a raw, raw copy. copy. All right. Yeah, I only got one. So those, those, those were, were the only books missed uh, from, from video, video number three. Uh, and what, what we'll, we'll do now is uh, break into 
we'll, 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 we'll break, break into, into uh, the mail call, call segment. segment. I, I believe, believe we'll call as a mail, mail call. call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make this brief. i got seven books I want to show you guys. And starting off, like I was telling John, I was going to start expanding my Miles Morales collection so far as books that were not uh, A covers, uh, but trying to find some of the B covers and or second print covers or even third, fourth print, whatever. And the thing about second print covers is, um, would be the fact that when you have a book that is a first print and sometimes sells out, uh, the the, the uh, producer or the maker of the book will release a second print of the book because it's been in high demand uh, by by the by the crowd, by you, the viewers. Uh, and so and also the comic book stores will do that as well, because the comic sells out pretty quickly and it's very popular. Uh, it will <clears throat> be in demand for a second print. So in this case, this second print book is a Miles Morales uh, number one. This is from volume two. It was just called Spider-Man as opposed to what John showed earlier, a Miles Morales Spider-Man. But this is a, just a uh, Spider-Man Volume 2 is one of the earlier Miles releases that uh, that qualifies as a second print because the first print has red, uh, has the red lettering. This has blue lettering. And then also you'll see it down in here in the, in the, uh, in the box where it will say so right here. It will say a second print. So that's what qualifies it as a second print. And the second prints also are usually in lower number of uh, produced numbers. So the uh, rarity of the book due to the lower print run of the book, the, the rarity of the book and the, the, the value of the book becomes higher because of that. Uh, the rarity of the book being driven by smaller print numbers. Am I accurate on that, John? Oh, uh, yes, you're accurate. accurate. That, that, that is, is the, the case, case today. today. Uh, uh, Will, Will Cole and I had a discussion some time ago where well, we, we always, always discussed it. Uh, beyond 10, 10 years ago, uh, second, second print, third print, third print, print uh, uh, they, they were probably frowned upon or looked down on as almost worthless or just reader copies, but the community today has decided uh, there is some variation in the book that is worthy, so uh, a comic book is only worth what you all in the community will pay, so many uh, purchase the book at a higher price because it's harder to find. We all, you know, we all want what we can't have, so... People look for the lower print in the books that are hard to find. It's not every shop will order them. Um, if you're used to seeing the first print um, and you connect and you've been connecting for any number of years, um, when you see that second print, that different color, even just that different color title, it's, it's, it strikes your attention. Uh, I know it does for me. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Why does that look different? I can, I can recognize from the label, label or some color, color variation is different. Yeah. So, so the community does well. Those who come back or hunt deeply for books. And, and so, so, yeah, yeah. today's the second, second print, third print prints have become, become more valuable. valuable. And, and then what, what, what happens, happens in the later runs, runs we'll call? What, what happens even when we go beyond, beyond third, third print? print? Oh, they'll, they'll make third or fourth prints, and sometimes they will make, uh, and the, going back to this cover, Sometimes they'll make a completely different cover. D further down, the further down, uh, the printings, fourth, fifth, fourth, fifth prints, uh, and then sometimes you'll just get completely different colors in the in the in the. Uh, you'll also get completely different colors in the scheme of the cover, as opposed to the blue letters. You might even get some green letters, just for example. So. And I'm not sure if that's what you're trying to hint at for me to talk about, but yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm talking about. about. And uh, oftentimes they'll pull the new cover from the last page, page yeah. uh, of the book. They'll, they'll, they'll take, take that, that last page art and uh, put, put it on the, the cover. cover on the front page. Yeah. Uh, I, know I know I have, I have a friend that's a comic, comic shop manager, manager and, and he's, he's into art. art. Uh, he gets mad when they do that. He he says that. Cover artists, I guess, need to be paid. So 
what, what they, they do, do in essence, is they, they take, take that last page, page out they've already, already paid for it, so, so they, they don't have to pay, pay another cover artist again. again. Yep. So, so he says uh, they're, they're getting, getting over a little bit by taking that last page and putting, putting it on the cover since they've already paid the artist for it, they can do with it what they will. So yeah, he doesn't like it. However, however, he's the the artist. Your friend is right. However, here's where the trick is, and and now we're going to get off of this real. We're going to get off of this after this point. Yeah. Uh, is the fact that when they pull that interior art, put it on the cover for a second or a third, whatever print, and they when they put that last page or whatever with some content in the book on the cover for down uh, down trace print, uh, that book often becomes. Or something on the cover is usually some first appearance care of the character within the book, but they put it on the cover. So then you have a first appearance of a particular character that might be a hot character on the cover of the book. So that drives the value the value of that book up as well. When that whatever character that's hot is on the cover for the first time, not just in the book, but also then on the cover. So. Yeah, that, that's, that's also, also added value. Correct, correct. Okay, okay. what All else right. we got here? Spider Verse number one, another Miles Morales cover, where he is much like in the Spider Verse. I'm sorry, the the Enter the Spider Verse movie. Uh, this is another rendering with many different Spider Men within the web, and as you see, Spider Ham in there and. A few others that I can't even remember, at least in this cover, because they'll have some, sometimes they'll have first appearances of different characters and spider folks on those books. Yeah, my, yeah, so my, my first time seeing, seeing that book. book. I, I needed that, that book. book. Now, now I have to go look for it. My, my first time, time seeing that book. book. And I, I love, love some Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse. Yeah, I love that book. I'm going to have to put, put that, that one on my list. list. Yeah, that is uh, Spider-Verse. Yeah, Spider-Verse. Uh, Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse number one, volume three. This is the second print book. All right, trying to speed it up here. So now going to book number three. This is a book called Radiant Black. It's an image comic book. Uh, image is an independent print, uh, Im- independent publisher. Uh, but Radiant Black, what makes this incredible is fr- not just the co- the co- well, the artwork is amazing. Uh, but this is an incentive cover by Dolly D. O L Y, a Dolly variant. And I love this book because of the fact that not just this book, but this entire run of Radiant Black is an amazing run so far as the artwork is concerned and the writing. Kyle Higgins, again, smashing it on the writing of this book. And uh, this cover is just amazing. Uh, I consider this book, when you look at the artwork, it is similar, or, or it makes you think of like what Ultraman used to look like and the Power Rangers, but it's much better than that. It, it ain't. It, it, it's not an Ultraman and the Power Rangers book. This is like Outer Space Adventures and whatever the case may be. But uh, the artwork, every cover is amazing. I think you were going to show something, John, on that. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. We we, we uh, he, he showed, showed that book. book. I didn't even know he was going to show, show that actually. actually. And so, so, I mean, along, along with that, he shows that color, uh, but there's something, let me see what I got here, let me see. All right, so, uh, this is, this is Radiant Black number eight, uh, September of 2021, Radiant Black number eight, yeah. I mean, not a bad copy, this is wrong, so, uh, this is a wrong copy. Uh, yeah, yeah not, not a bad, bad uh, look at that, there's not, not a bad cover in the bunch. Not. Uh, just gorgeous. gorgeous. And they keep uh, getting a little, better. A, a, a little, little bit under, under the radar. radar. The book is a little, a little flying a little bit under the radar. radar. I'm, I'm able, able to find them, but I don't know how long that will be. I don't, I don't think, think that's, that's going to last. last. Get your books but now. Get them now while there's some where they're where some of them are affordable and some of those variants are not cheap at all. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of variants that are uh, different, different comic, comic shops exclusives. If you look out there, eBay, wherever the case, uh, hip comics, any, any of those sites, sites uh, uh, what not app, yeah, yeah, you you'll, you'll find that uh, yeah, yeah, there's, there's some, some pricey variants. 
there's one of the, here's a, uh, oh, this, this, this is an earlier, earlier issue. Uh, and, and the, the earlier, earlier issue, they use a, a type of a cartoon. Earlier, I was, I'm not sure the, the correct term for it. This, this type of sibling or three dot color matrix they used to use in the 70s. Yeah. Uh, uh, but that's, that's what this red and black issue number three, what, what they were trying to achieve, or they, they did achieve. achieve. And, and it actually is a third printing. It's a third printing. Yeah. They achieved that. that, that that's, that's a throwback to that, that um, three color dot or three color, color system, system where they would put, put layer dots over one another. That is amazing, man, that cover. Yeah. And, and and there are other uh, there are other covers reminiscent of that. I think there's one as opposed to the the blue and the black and the white or whatever. There's another one. I think in the uh, red and black and white or something like that. I think I've seen another very not particular that book, but I don't yeah. sure what, what number it is. Yeah, I don't have it. I don't, I don't have, have it here now, now but, but yeah, it's, it's like, like a connecting, connecting cover because, because uh, the, the angle is facing the other way. It's connecting, connecting uh, where it faces uh, uh, that character. character. All right. All right. So I'm gonna move. And then, sorry, John. Lastly, briefly, briefly. My bad. Lastly, briefly. Uh, yeah, lastly, briefly. And then it went to rain and red. Okay. Another title. That's another title. Uh, that is an offshoot from Rain and Black. Uh, this is a virgin cover. Uh, find it if you can. Many people I know already purchased it. I was able to find it for you. But that's a virgin cover for Rain and Red. Number one. Yeah. Absolutely dynamic. Absolutely. If you don't, if you don't love it, you're not, not a comic, comic fan, fan. I don't think. think. Yeah, and I believe that's a female character as well. Yes, it is. It's a female no, character. I haven't read, read it yet, yet so I can't, can't tell too much right now yet. But maybe, maybe by, by the, the next video, video I will have read, read it. it. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna hit book number four. Uh, this is a, this is a cover that is a shout out to the Native American community, and I love these. I love this cover. It is. Phoenix Song Echo, number one. It is a one for 25 variant. Uh, just a plain beautiful cover by Oscar Vega. An Oscar Vega variant. And this is my second copy of this book. I, I, I loved it so much I had to have it twice. It's just that much of a banger for, for me. And um, bought this one straight out of beauty. And, and trying to collect things that have uh, some of the Native American folks of our country on the covers. So I spread the, the diversity in my own collection. Uh, then the next one, making us trying to make, speed up the pace, is Black Panther number one, the Shuri cover with Shuri on the cover. And the artist is David Nakayama. And this is, like I said, this is Black Panther number one. But Black Panther is in volume eight now, currently. Uh, so I just wanted to buy this one because, again, with Shuri and that white in the background, with Shuri and the black, it just pops off. It's beautiful right there. And David Nakayama smashes it. And two more covers. Another Shuri cover. This is, another, this is the one for 25. Uh, Black Panther number four. Uh, and this is by Stephanie Hans. Love this cover as well. And I I was questioning if it was Shuri or not, but I confirmed it by the regular cover of Black Panther number four with Shuri on that one. And this is an Alex Ross cover. Uh, and Alex Ross and Stephanie Hans both, they, they kill it. They, they just, they're just making beautiful cover magic together yeah and for those of you who uh follow stephanie hans if you uh, um look back, back maybe uh, a, year a year or two you'll, you'll see that, that she did some, some uh some beautiful uh miss marvel, marvel covers oh, oh man, man there's, there's some, some yeah, dynamic Ms. marvel covers uh, that she did uh there, there is also oh let me see uh stephanie hans she, she did a uh, this is escaping me right, right now. We might have, have to come, come back, back to it. it. I, I can see that. Oh, I, I, I didn't know the character. character. She, I believe she, she did a, a, a Riri, Riri Williams cover. Oh, well. yes. Yes. Yeah. And it is she, Ironheart Riri. That book. Yeah, Ironheart Riri Williams. She did an early cover. Oh, my goodness. That cover there. It's a little and pricey now. A, a little pricey. 
highly pricey. Re oh, if you guys don't know, find some books about Riri Williams, some early some early uh, releasings of Riri, the first print first appearance and also the first number one of her own series. Those books are yeah high. Yeah, I believe that Pond's cover was one for fifty. That's the reason for that. Yeah, yeah. but it it, 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 it ain't fifty dollars. I promise you that. No. <laughs> so, yeah, you may have to pay. You may have to pay mm, probably about five hundred, maybe if you're lucky. All right. Uh, next one is Catwoman number thirty nine. Uh, this is a. Uh, Souza Maika cover of Catwoman number 39. Uh, this is the white virgin variant. Uh, I did not get the first print, which would be a black background. Uh, that book, when it came out, it was so hot and everybody was so shocked of how beautiful it was. That thing shot up to about 100 to $150 within the first week of its release. I came I came along later about a week or so later on and got the white virgin variant and again this is another one of those things where that book was so hot that they made another one and they just changed it up with a white virgin variant but it was so popular and Souza Maika S O Z A M A I K A uh smashing artist as well All right John all right, nice, nice. Yeah, those, those, that's, a that's a nice fall you have there. Uh, anybody would be proud of having that little fall there. there. All, All right. right. So, so we're going to hand it to, uh, now we're going to hand it to, um, I guess, the last segment, you could say. Uh, some CDC books that I just recently received. Uh, for those of you looking to send some off, I know there's some comic collectors, they've never sent books off CDC, but at this time, it's... So, so popular, popular and in the demand, demand um, because, because it helps, helps you to let the hobby fund itself. Uh, let me see. This, this set of books that I'm about to show, I got them. They probably uh, came back a week and a half ago. ago. But they, they were sent off. This is April. April. Uh, I did get them back, back in March. Uh, they, they were sent off at the end, end of May. May. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, so, so that, that, that was, was the end of May, May and I'm just now receiving them. them. So, so when you're uh, roughly looking, looking at, at what is that, nine months? months? About nine, ten, yeah. yeah. In the bank, so you can, you know, in the bank. Uh, so, so I might as well say about nine months or so. All right, let's, let's, let's take, take a look. look. Let, me, let, let me go, go grab them. them. I've already cut the box. I've already cut the, the, the box over, so cool. we can bypass that. that. What, what were we saying? Go ahead. No, I was just going to say for those who are trying to expedite their their grading time and return time, in order to do that, you will have to pay. If you do the express shipping, it is more pricey per book that you get graded. But you can shorten the amount of time of your grading uh, grading uh, when the, you send them off to be graded. If you sp spend more per book for the grading, they will expedite the grading process for you. However, it becomes pricey, so you have to decide what book you really want to have expedited in your, uh, in your paying. Uh, as opposed to just having an entire whatever uh, massive amount of books sent in, uh, because the grading process itself is is pretty is pretty costly. Uh, it can run between was about thirty twenty five is it twenty five or thirty five? And because the prices keep going up, they keep adjusting the prices now. So per book, and that's just regular grading. That's not the express. Well, you going to okay. have something to say on that one? Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's all right. Well, were, were you saying, saying the, the cost of uh, CGC uh, by itself? itself? Yeah, per book. The, the, yeah, yeah, I, did, yeah, yeah, I, I did, did not pay for the uh, Express. It's, it's a, a uh, regular. regular. Um, if I'm not mistaken, at the time, it was uh, $20 per modern book. book. Okay, 20. Uh, okay, that's thank you. Listed, but I believe it's, it's, higher, it's higher, higher now. It's Absolutely higher now. it is. And you do, you do have to pay the shipping. The shipping gets uh, quite expensive by the weight. Uh, and then there's some taxes you have to pay. But at any rate, yeah. yeah. 
But if you make some wise, wise choices, choices, you can, you can let, let the hobby fund itself, itself and recoup it. it. If you yes, you can. Sell duplicate, sell duplicate. But, but sometimes, sometimes the books are gone so long, long like, I, I don't even remember, I, I just don't even remember what was <coughs> sent off. And, and I, I, I didn't check the site. I just, you know, know let the package come, come. I don't go on the site and check. All right, All right so, so first up, Batman 111. Uh, October of 21. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this is the sketch, sketch cover, cover uh, for uh, this, this is the, the Federici variant cover. It's a sketch cover. Uh, James Tynion, uh, story. Uh, George Jimenez and Ricardo Lopez Ortiz on the art. And then, as I said, Federici cover. Batman one of October, October 21. Oh, so like, you know what? I'm going to take that bag, bag off. off. I'll, I'll reduce some of that later. later. I'm going to take that bag, bag off. off. Should have done, done that prior, prior but here we go. Batman, Batman won the uh, Federici Federici Yeah. And Federici's a bad boy, too. Uh, he started doing work on Batman covers, and there was, I can't remember, it was like a fantasy book that he did. Uh, a lot of uh, hand-drawn sketches like that, but then painted. He, not, he also painted the book, and I, I can't think of the name of the book, and it was a DC book, but it was like three or four issues, and for those in the... Uh, for those who are watching, who would know in the uh, chat, you can re you can re refresh our memory uh, in the chat as to what that book was, a DC fantasy book. But go ahead, John, with your next book, please. Okay, uh, next book, The March. March. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm loving, loving The March, March too. Uh, 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 Image Shadowline, this is November, November of 20. Uh, 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 Brian Haberman's story, cover, cover and, and art. And if you, if you haven't, haven't seen some of Brian Heberlin's art, very detailed. He, he loves line quality uh, in some, some of his books. Well, well not some, some of his books, books but all of his books. books. But, but this, this is uh, the mark number nine. nine. Uh, uh, this, this is the variant C cover. cover. Brian Heberlin. Oh, yeah. I apologize for the glare. There. I think there's, there's some glare in there, but I apologize for that. that. Uh, that, is, uh, that is the... There you go. That makes it better. That's the first thing cover. Yeah, and that storyline is regarding, I believe, it's a, it's about tattoos. I believe that's what this book is about. Therefore, the name or the title, Marked. But oh, Brian Haberlin is a uh, special yeah, artist. Came back nine, came came back nine, nine, four, nine, four. Four. nine I'll, I'll take it. it. Not, Not nine, eight, eight, but I'll, I'll take, take it. it. Nine, nine four. four. Uh, next, next book, and this, this reduces some of the glare with the bag on that uh, Uncanny Avengers number 16, this is a little further back, January of 2017. Uh, Jerry Dugan's story, uh, Laraz Arch. And it's Laraz Arch. Pepe Laraz, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that is a monster of cover. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Deadpool against some kind of monster. And the crazy thing, I read, a, I read, a, no, I read that entire series, and I can't remember what that monster was. I, but I did read that. Oh, uh, actually, actually, that is the Hulk. Hulk. Is that the Hulk? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, it was the return of the Hulk. Got you. It may, it may, it may, it may be connected, of course, course, to the immortal Hulk. Hulk. Yeah, yep. that's the Hulk. The resurrected Hulk, yeah, when they thought they killed him. But no, no luck. <laughs> All right, moving on. We'll put, we'll put that, that over there. there. That's, that's, a, a, that's, that's a second, second one. We'll put, we'll put that, that over there. there. No, no. Uh, these, these next, next books, uh, you, you're, you're not going to find, find the grades as high because, high because it's harder to find, find uh, books, books now. now. These, these are some books uh, uh, that, that were purchased, purchased many, many years ago. ago. Uh, but for them, them to, to be, be in this grade, grade is still, still very, very good. good. Uh, uh, this, this is uh, Plastic, Plastic Man, Man number 13, uh, June of 76. June of, uh, Steve, and, and some, some of these names, uh, for, for you newer connector, you're not going to recognize, really. Uh, Steve Speaks story uh, for Don, Don and Bob Smith, Smith Hart. Now, now, I don't know, know but, but this, this is an Ernie Chan, Chan cover. cover. Uh, this, this is an Ernie Chan cover, and I believe he did some work on Conan, Conan back, back then mm -hmm. as well in 76. But I'll, I'll take a, a 7.5 from 76. 
Because, because in 76, bags of boards, they, they, they were almost non-existent. Some, some shops had them, the quality, when you did see them, they were very thin, very, very, very flimsy, they deteriorated very, very quickly. Ooh, this is cheap. Plastic man, um, plastic man, um, plastic man, plastic man, yeah, plastic man, man number 13. 7.5 is uh, pretty decent for 76. Absolutely. And that's still a beautiful cover. Ernie Chan was, yeah, a, a master artist. I used to love how it, it, the the comedic uh, the comedic renderings of, of Plastic Man as well. This is just amazing stuff. It was like Mr. Fantastic, but but better. <laughs> just the innovation. Yeah, they would um, do with uh, writers. You know, yeah, writers and artists of the seventies knew that, that when you had character, character versus character, character, character versus, versus him or herself. herself uh, and it made kids want to read the book to see what was going on. I know it did that for me. I'm saying, well, I, how can he or her or she be fighting uh, its, its own self? So that, that's something I look for in a comic book, and it just made you want to buy it. Well, what's going on? Why is it too long? And yeah, that was just a little trick of the 70s that they did, and it's so many books. What's killing me? That. What's killing me is the top where he's wrapped around the uh, the, the logo at the top. <laughs> That's killing me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah right, right here. here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, no. Nope. And, and then, then notice, notice again the price. The price. 30, 30 cents. Yeah. Only 30, 30 cents. cents. Miss them days, boy. Yeah. I tell you what, this is, this this is, is a, 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 a 7.5, seven five, five, but... but it, it really, really it shows like an 8 or an 8.5. Crazy thing about it, you said the book is 30 cents. Now books are 10 times that amount on the average. Yeah, 10, 10 times, times that. that. Even four, four times. times. Even four times, yeah. I, I, what am I, I saying? saying? Well, you said 10, 10 times, times, even four times. times. I, mean, I mean, probably, probably uh, uh, even uh, uh, double that, that when the books are, uh, say, say uh, when the books are $10, some of the new work, yeah. uh, square amount of books are $10, so that's many times that, anyway. <laughs> my bad on my math when I said, yeah, four, when I co-signed on the four times. But anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. But then again, uh, uh, if, if you get, get a, a bargain, dollar, dollar bin, yeah, yeah, it, it, it would, would be four times, times that. that. But, but here's, uh, uh, let's see, this, this, this grade, grade is even higher. higher. This, this is Plastic Man number 14. 14. The following issue, uh, Plastic Man 14, 14 August of 76. Uh, oh, uh, 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 Elliot S. McGinn's story, he worked a lot on Superman. Uh, for the Dome and Mike Royer art. And once again, Ernie Chan covered. That's why I have these. I love those Ernie Chan covered. Chan covered. But, but still, 30 cents, uh, this, this book shows... shows now, this, this, this book, book shows, shows about the same as the last one. one. I don't get it. Oh, I, don't I don't get it. That's something. Yeah, something. Yeah, something. Well, the, the, se the 7.5 looks cleaner than this one. <laughs> the 7.5 looks cleaner, but this one still sucks. This is a 9 Oh, wow. Well, number yeah. 40, but the back cover, cover. Oh, that, that is Ooh. nice. Now, when you were a kid, kid of the 70s, oh, yeah, you had to pick that up off the 7-Eleven stand. 7-Eleven yeah. stand, baby. Yes, sir. You see that? That's it. Or the corner store. You used to see that on there. You had, you had, you had to get, get your 30, 30 cents together. together. Exactly. Two, two pennies, pennies maybe. maybe. But that's, that's a beautiful, beautiful cover. cover. Plastic, Plastic Man, man. Number, number 14. 14. What did Eddie, Mur what Eddie Murphy say? I catch ya. Yeah. <laughs> that nine, no, that, that covers, covers eye catcher. Did you see that face there? I don't know if you see that. Look at that. Yeah. Some kind of a garbage, garbage muck creature, creature there. there. Oh. Famous for that. I remember I was remember I was sitting, sitting in my elementary, elementary class, class reading these books. books. Of course, course after, after I finished, finished all my work, work. I finished, finished my work. But uh, I, was I was reading some, some comic books, books too. too. All right, put that on over there. Beautiful book. And uh, let's see. Next up, next up, uh, Wonder Woman 184, uh, October of 2002. That was quite a while ago. Wow, man, that's about 20 years ago. It's crazy to think it came out that long ago. Vintage cover. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. Same thing. Character versus herself. Uh, Wonder Woman with a vintage cover. Golden Age, Wonder Woman, and the modern current. Yeah. Wonder Woman outfit. 
But this is uh, um, this, this is Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman yeah, one eight four. It's a it's a mock vintage, vintage cover. cover. It's, it's not, not really vintage, really vintage, vintage but, but it's a mock vintage cover. cover. Yeah. Uh, 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 that uh, uh, that is Adam Eve's cover. cover. It's it's not a book. It's, it's not, not an easy to find book. book. You can, you can look, look in the back, back as you can, but, but you, you just you don't see ain't gonna find those run right, that run right there by Adam Hughes. Those books are they're they're gone. They're ghost. Fortunately, I bought mine off the rack when they when they came out, and uh, good story too. Great story. Yep. Yes. I just have to get mine graded. I, that's one of those books I believe I have set aside down in the basement to have graded. Trying to see here uh, what, what that, that nine two, two is about. about. Yeah, some creases. creases. Yeah. yeah, there's there's, there's a, a few, few dents and creases in his mind. Not anything, anything major. And you might be able to get a pressed if you choose. Say again. I say you might choose to get a pressed one day to raise the volume. Yeah, if, you, you know, it, 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 it may, may, may be cracked out of here and pressed. Uh, I probably, probably should have pressed, knowing, knowing what this book was, I probably should have uh, asked for the pressing service. Oh, oh well, hindsight, hindsight is 2020. 2020. And then, then lastly, for, uh, for this, this and we'll, we'll put the rest in a, uh, uh, the, the next part. part. Uh, we'll do it in the piece number five. But, but the last one, so I didn't even remember this book being submitted. That's, that's how long ago it was. I just didn't even remember. I don't know where it came from. I didn't even know it was in the box. Uh, let's, let's see here. Uh, this, this is Incredible Hulk, Hulk number 354. Uh, a Peter, Peter David story, one of our favorite writers. I say uh, ours. Uh, 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 we'll call the night uh, yep. to talk about Peter David. David. Uh, he just knows, knows how to write a story and engage you. Highly uh, innovative guy, too. Highly innovative. Uh, Jeff Purves and Marie Severin Art. Okay. This is a Purves. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, I believe. Oh, Purves, I should say. Marie Severin, that's uh, old school right there too. For you guys don't know, for yeah. you don't hear a lot of female artists, but back in the seventies, but she was one of the originals. Uh, yes, early Marvel days. Go ahead, John. Okay, and this uh, I'm still here. Thunder. I'm not sure. Where, where I this book? book. Uh, it, it might have been, been a store called the book. book. I, think I think I got this at a book. book. No, no, I, I might have paid four dollars for it, but, but uh, it, it came. came it has a it has a slight roll in the spine. Otherwise, it shows nicely, but it came back at 85. Oh, yeah. 354. I didn't even know that was in the set, but I sent it. Oh, man. I recall that book, and I never bought yeah. that book. Man, I love that cover. Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, because he, uh, Peter David uh, brought back the Grey Hulk in his mm -hmm. That was, I think that was the, what was that, the late 80s, early 90s, late 80s? Uh, yeah, late, uh, eight, uh, April, April of 89, 89 yeah, late, late 80s. You're absolutely correct. Late, late 80s. 80s. Yeah. yeah. David was one and a half. That's one and a half. Uh, it's kind of a tough, tough find of bank issue bands as well. well. I mean, they, absolutely. They just, I mean, I mean, I mean if, if you're a comic collector, collector and you come across this cover, cover yeah, you're going to snatch it up. I would. It's just so striking that, yeah, it doesn't stay there for long. But I think I, think I, I did find it at the book for a few dollars. It wasn't too expensive. Uh, uh, I, on my hindsight, I said, on these last two books, I probably should have opted for a present. I should have had them pressed. Or, or taken it, it, or it, it to uh, uh, pressing service. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah pressing service. service. As, As a matter of fact, one of our videos we will post, uh, I have that video we'll call the uh, Days Comics. So, so and in, in that, that video, video, it does show his pressing machines in his stores, though. I could, I could have easily taken it there and asked them to press them for a nominal fee. fee. And, and he's pretty good at it, so he's got, got like four pressing machines there, I think. Yeah, so that would have uh, increased the grade. grade. But anyway, um, uh, that's, that's the uh, uh, last book for this part. For the, it's uh, the TTC Hall. Hall. Uh, I, I think that, that may uh, wrap it up for this segment. Uh, Unless Will Paul has any last comment bits to add. Last thing I'm going to try to, I'm going to try, I've got a few bullets that I want to hit so far as talking points. Uh, coming up in, in May, the first weekend of May, is free comic book day. Please make sure you go to your local comic book store and get some of the books that will can be given out for free. In particular, you may want to look out for the book, uh, 
regarding Blade's daughter. And don't hit, don't get me to quoting about what her name is, but there is a book regarding Blade. Yes, Wesley Snipes' old character <clears throat> uh, that he played in movies. Uh, and uh, But anyway, there's a book coming out, free comic book day that you can get regarding Blade's daughter. Uh, one of those ones you want to get for free. If you can get lucky enough to get more than one copy, try to procure more than one copy. Uh, next thing I wanted to talk cover real fast was Go Collect as one of the sites that we use to assess the fair market value of your books. Uh, there is the free version of which sometimes they will have the the values there, but if there's some, but there's also a paid version of Go Collect. You become a member, but it's a minimal fee. It's not very pricey at all. <clears throat> and any book that you have, particularly if you have a large collection like we do, you can use Go Collect to figure out the fair market value of your book and or the graded value of your book. Anything you want to add regarding Go Collect, John? I'm sorry, I caught you off guard. Yeah, I believe uh, uh, Go Collect, yeah, yeah, in the, the free version, version, I believe in the free version, uh, uh, the 9.8 badges, badges are missing. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and some, some of the other uh, values and, and uh, key information are missing in the free version. version. And, and it's, it's a nominal, nominal fee for the, for the uh, license uh, uh, subscription, so, so you get all the other missing information. So, yeah. So, we'll work the fee. So, last three points. CLZ. CLZ is a database that we use to put and log our comic books into uh, so far as what we have in our collection when we buy. I'm constantly bagging and boarding and then while I'm bagging and boarding, bagging and boarding books, I'm putting my collection into CLZ uh, so far as tracking what books I have and what books I don't have. What's cool about it is the fact that you can do it on your laptop. You can also do it on your phone. And so when you're sometimes at a comic book store and you're not sure if you bought that book or not, uh, if you want doubles or not of, of a particular book, you think, thought you missed it, look in the CLZ, pull, it up, pull up that app on your phone and do a quick search, and you can figure out if you have it in your, in your collection or not. And you can decide whether you want to have one or two or whatever you want to do. Uh, Last two would be Key Collector is an app, is an app, a phone app that you can use as well. And it is a speculation app as well as a log. It's a, it's a, it's a log as well so far as the books that you have. Uh, but I like, I like CLZ better so far as logging the books that I have. What is good about Key Collector is it gives you like hot 10 lists, uh, runner up top 10 lists and whatever else. And so far as books you may want to look for, even randomly that they can speculate, they'll speculate on. What you got to say, John? Yeah, I was going to say, I love the randomizer um, in the Key Collector app. Uh, as you, uh, it randomly uh, shows, I believe, 10 books. And I get the time frame it changes. Uh, it may change every, I don't know, if it's three to five minutes. Uh, we hit that randomizer, it'll give you a new uh, set of books. But it definitely will pull up some comics that you may have forgotten about. Um, I was using that randomizer one time just looking at some books I may have missed or forgotten about from yesteryear. And, and, and the thing switched, and I didn't write one of those books down. Oh, I was kicking myself. Yeah, I've done that before, too. I thought, I thought a book I really wanted, but I, I, I didn't write, write it down. I couldn't remember, but maybe it will randomly come, come back up again. Sometimes they do. That, 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 that randomizer is an excellent feature as well. Yeah, so, it, gets, yeah. You get it, it lets you get in early on books before they get too expensive sometimes. Sometimes. And the last speculation site, it's a website called CBSI, uh, Comic Book Speculators and Investment. Uh, it is a website that you can use. Just Google it up. And they, again, they have a top 10, a weekly top 10 list. And most of the top 10 lists come out on Fridays uh, after the Wednesday comic book day. Uh, every Wednesday is Christmas for comic book collectors uh, because you can get your new books every week. Uh, but CBSI has a top 10 list as well as great articles that will help you do better searches for speculating on stories characters, whatever the case may be, and I get them on a cheap uh, before they get out of control in, in value. Anything you want to add, C, uh, anything you want to add with CBSI? Uh, no, that, that, that about covers, covers it. it. You, you, you hit all the points. points. Uh, I, I think, think, I, I think, I think that's, that's a good ending point, point there. 
All right, All right. so, so there, there, there you have it. it. Um, two Speak Geeks, uh, this, this was uh, show number four. four. Uh, we'll, we'll see you on, on, the, on the next, next time, time, on the next one, on number five. On number five. Uh, uh, it, a special number number five. Uh, yep. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's, re- he's referring to my pledge, pledge number many years, years ago. ago. He's a live uh, five. Yeah, yeah, when, when, when I, we pledged that year of paternity. paternity. Yeah. So, so we'll somewhere, do a live. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere in the video, video you, may, you, may, you, you can see, see the, the, the paternity, paternity call letters somewhere, but... Many, Many already, already know, know what they, they are. are. But, but all right, there you have it. Uh, uh, in the meantime, meantime get, get out there. there happy comic book hunting. hunting. See you later. Uh, we'll wrap it. We'll, we'll wrap, wrap it up there. there. See, See you later. later. See you on the uh, flip side. <coughs>